Good morning and welcome to lesson 14 of 1R reading level. Today our goals is that we're going to review word strategies when you come across unfamiliar texts um, of, of the words. You're also then going to read Hungry Hungry Sharks part 2 by Joanna Cole and then we're going to be covering comprehension questions, vocabulary words, and a comparing chart and then I'm going to provide your homework assignment to you. Here is your um, assignments. You have two assignments and you have one homework assignment. So for one of, one of the assignments, you need to answer what is the most important, or excuse me, what is the most interesting fact you learned from part two of Hungry Hungry Sharks, okay? Then you're also going to complete the comparison chart where you're gonna compare two kinds of sharks, and then you're going to, for your homework, read for 30 minutes, then provide one fact you learned from what you read and state one question you have from what you read, okay? So word attack strategies. Remember, you have to stop if something doesn't look right, sound right, or make sense. Look at the pictures to see if they um, give you a clue about what an unfamiliar word is. And then you're going to follow these steps as well, okay? So here we have it where we have um, the letters P-L-A-N. That definitely spell a four-letter word, but we have to decide and try to figure out what word it is, okay? So first, you're going to say the first letter sound. So the first letter sound, since this is a P, you're going you're gonna to make the sound then you're gonna to try to blend the two consonant um, blend um, in the beginning of this word, P-L, pull, pull, okay? You're gonna cover part of the word and then you're going to chunk by looking for parts that you know. We know that A-N is an, bungee power word, okay? Here we have it where you're gonna think of a word that looks the same and rhymes. So let's try it out, mm, an, man, and plan, plan, man, the word is plan. Are different sounds for the vowel. There are short vowel sounds, long vowel sounds, and in this case, it's a short vowel sound. So plan. If you were to try to make it a long vowel sound, it wouldn't sound right. Plan, plan, mm, mm, mm. It, there's no silent E. It just wouldn't make sense, okay? So this is a short vowel sound of the A plan. What we have here, this is our goal. Today, we're going to continue reading about sharks. We're going to go and dive into part two. As you um, read our informational text with me, remember that we are not just reading the words, but we are learning about sharks as well. All right, let's dive right on in. We're gonna check this out. This book is very fascinating. We're gonna learn about different types of sharks today, okay? So what we have here is the text, okay? So as I read, please follow along um, as we go. The most dangerous shark in the sea is the great white shark. It is named after its white belly. Look, there's the belly. It's nice and white um, underneath. Uh, so here we go. The teeth of the great white shark are big and sharp, very, very sharp. It can eat a whole seal in one bite. The great white shark is the size of a speedboat. So this is the great white shark and they're comparing its size, the body size, from nose to the tail fin. That nose to tail, this is a speedboat and so they're comparing the size of the two um, right here. Okay, the great white shark has just had, or excuse me, this great white shark has just had babies. Most fish lay eggs, but most sharks do not. Their babies are born alive. A baby shark is called a pup. The pup of the great white shark is almost the size of a man. As soon as they are born, the pups go their own way. It is not safe to stay near a hungry mother. The baby sharks swim off to catch their own food. One eats a fish, another gets a crab. The pups had better watch out for puffer fish. Uh-oh, because the puffer fish can blow up like a balloon. If a shark eats it, its spines get stuck in the shark's throat. The shark will die. That's not good, right? You don't want the puffs, puffer fish's um, spines to get into your throat if you were a white shark, because a great white shark, because they would hurt your throat. And then how are you supposed to eat with a hurt throat? right? Not many animals can kill great white sharks. The stingray flaps to the sea like a giant bat. Its tail has a poison stinger. The poison can kill most animals, but a great white shark can eat a stingray stinger and all. The swordfish is a very strong fish. It can cut and stab with its long nose, but even a swordfish almost always loses a fight with a great white shark. Another big shark is the hammerhead shark. It is easy to see how it got its name. Like other big sharks, the hammerhead never sleeps and never stops swimming. Swimming. Look at how the hammer shark looks, the hammerhead shark. So I don't know if you ever saw a hammerhead um, 
where it it is used to punch the um, nails into a board, but it has the same type of shape to it. Okay, so most fish have air balloons inside them, but sharks do not. If they stop swimming, they sink. So a hammerhead got its name from the tool that is used called a hammer. So this would be almost where the mallet would be in the handle. And in this case, this is the shark with eyes on both of its sides and its body, All right? This hammerhead swims to a group of dolphins. It tries to catch one of the young dolphins, but sharks do not always get their way. The dolphins fight back. One dolphin dives under the water. It comes up and hits the hammerhead. The shark flies up in the air. It falls back on the water. Smack! The dolphins keep hitting the shark. After a while, the shark stops moving. It sinks down into the water. It is dead, so the hammerhead did not win. Dolphins are smart animals. They can work together to kill an enemy, but sharks are not as smart. They have tiny brains. All right, so now we're gonna dive in and look at the brain um, facts. A shark's brain is small, but its teeth are big. It has many rows of teeth. When a tooth breaks off, a new tooth moves up to take its place. A shark uses up thousands of teeth every year. What do sharks eat with all these teeth? Fish and more fish. Other sharks, seals, turtles, crabs, almost anything that swims in the sea. Sometimes sharks eat things that are not food. No one knows why. All these things have been found inside big sharks. So here's the big shark and inside his tummy, they found these items. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man. So they found a wallet, a fur coat, a drum, a bottle of wine, a chest of jewels, a barrel of nails. This is a barrel. It's a wooden container and a suit of armor, a metallic um, protection over a human when they go to battle. Do sharks eat people? Yes, they do. If a person is near a big shark, the shark may attack, but the number of people killed by sharks is very small. More people die from this, these stings than from shark bites. Mm. Sharks do not go hunting for people, but people do go hunting for sharks. Hmm. Some people like to go fishing for sharks. They have to be careful. A shark may look dead, then all at once it can wake up and bite. Scientists want to study sharks, but it is hard to study them at sea. It is hard to keep big sharks alive in a tank. One scientist caught a great white shark. They put it in a tank with other fish. But the shark did not eat, and it kept bumping into the sides of the tank. After a few days, the shark began to die. So the scientists took the shark back to sea. They set it free. So they had it where, in the experiment, the science experiment that they were doing, they were trying to study this shark, right? But the shark wasn't doing too well in the um, aquarium, the large tank of water that they had for him. So they had to bring him back to see where uh, he felt more comfortable. There are many things we do not know about sharks, but we do know that sharks are endangered. That is because people hunt them for food and often sharks die just by getting tangled in fishing nets caught. So the number of sharks is getting smaller. Many people are trying to save them. Sharks are amazing animals. Oceans would not be the same without sharks. Hmm. The end. Okay, so this is the cover of Hungry Hungry Sharks, and now we're gonna switch back to our um, slideshow. So what we have here is, this is going to be talking about your first assignment. You need to answer, what is the most interesting fact that you learned about sharks, okay? Now for here, you're going to be um, responsible for the, your next assignment. This is your comparing chart. So compare two kinds of sharks. We have shark name number one, shark name number two, and there are going to be three categories. Category number one, for each shark, you need to identify the physical features. What does the shark look like? Behavior, how does the shark act? What does it do? And other interesting facts. Any other interesting facts would include, um, what are baby sharks called? Do sharks have air balloons? Okay, and physical features, what does it look like? Eyes, behavior, how um, the babies act, are they born um, from fish eggs, are they born alive? Um, compared to kinds of sharks, so here's um, some examples just to get you started, all right? So the physical features of the great white shark. So the physical features, it has a white belly, has big and sharp teeth, can eat a whole seal in one bite, size of a speedboat, new tooth grows in place of an old tooth for the great white shark. 
Now, the behavior of the great white shark, he is very strong. He um, does not lay fish eggs or babies are born alive. And then they eat fish seals, small sharks, turtles, and crabs. Other interesting facts is a baby shark is called a pup. The pup of a great white shark is almost the size of a man. Once born, um, the babies go their own way. Let's talk about hammerhead sharks now. They have a horizontal head, eyes are on the side of the head, they have a tiny brain, new tooth grows in place of an old tooth. They're not very strong, they never sleep, they never stop swimming, and they eat fish, seals, small sharks, turtles, and crabs. Okay, bull sharks can't stop swimming because they otherwise would sink, and that's not good. Sharks do not have air balloons, so they need to keep swimming in order to not sink. Here are our vocabulary words. There are four categories and we're gonna go category by category. So the first category is three letter blends. So catch, say it, good job. Throat, say it, excellent. Watch, say it, good. Strong, excellent. Now, the three letter consonant blend that is in the ending blends would be in the word catch, T-C-H, and watch, T-C-H. The three letter blends that are in the beginning of the word, um, would be THR from throat and STR in strong. Three syllable words, count them out, and then the beats are gonna be what you need. So three syllable words, we have dangerous. So dangerous, okay? Hammerhead, hammerhead, scientist, scientist, and amazing, amazing, okay? Say those words now, dangerous, go. Yes, hammerhead, go, good. Scientist, say it, excellent. Amazing, say it, excellent. Tricky words, we have poison, tiny, jewels. Poison, say it, excellent. Tiny, say it, good. And jewels, say it, yes. Poison is toxic, it's not good to have in your body. Tiny, it's very small. Jewels, that is what is usually found in a treasure box, treasure chest. Here we have hungry, hungry sharks vocabulary. So we have speedboat, which is pictured over here. It is a motorized boat, okay? You don't need a paddle in order for it to move. Tangled, okay, the shark was caught, or in this case, yes, tangled in the fishnet. And then this right here is a suit of armor. It's made of metal and it is very heavy, but it was used to protect people in the medieval times. Homework, read for 30 minutes using the word attack strategies. Um, now you're going to find a book, a nonfiction story, and then read to a family member for 30 minutes using those word attack strategies, okay? When you come across words that you don't know. When you are finished reading for the 30 minutes, identify the following from the nonfiction story that you read. Provide one fact that you learned from the informational text that you learned and write one question you have about the text you read, okay? You guys did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. See you next lesson. Bye.